All right, and we are back. We are back with more Fallout. Now I was um, I was reading some of the comments on my last couple videos. I know some people were saying that I kept getting shot by those people because of what I was wearing. Completely forgot that I was wearing this um, thing. Well, I'm not anymore. But um, it was amazing to see how many people were like. You're gonna get your ass handed to you in this DLC. IGN said that you have to be at least a level 15. Well, you know what? Who the hell listens to IGN? Who listens to IGN? Really? I'm going to. I'm going to do this. I'm going to beat this DLC as a level two. And if I struggle a lot and I can't do it, then I have this safe spot right here, and I'll be able to come back. But. I think that I could do it. I think I could do it. So I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna prove everyone wrong. I'm gonna beat it as a level, level fucking two. Might get my ass kicked a lot, but you know what? It wouldn't be any fun if I just owned everybody. All right. What's this? Who the hell's that? I'm gonna, I gotta take like everything that I can here. Oh no. I'm not. Okay, I'm not encumbered yet. Oh, I got my flashlight on. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Fuck. Is that like a storage area where I can store stuff? Left my heart in Sierra Madre. Alright. Hold on one sec. All right, there we go. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Level 20 plus. The game even tells you. <laughs> that might take you to extremely dangerous area. Uh-huh. Normal mode, you encounter new traps, new enemies. New companions whose lives are tied to yours in hardcore mode you'll be fighting the environment as well. Wow. Well at least I'm not in that. Companions are more vulnerable and so are you. Dead money is recommended for experienced couriers, level twenty plus. If you're up to the challenge, continue on. Well mm, I guess. Here we go. I can leave at any time, right? It's not like it locked me out. Right? Can I leave at any time? <laughs> Am I stuck here? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Terminal. Wired key. Hmm. What? Whoa! What the? The hell does this happen? The hell just happened? Oh man. <laughs> I am going to get my ass completely owned. The good thing about I guess being a low level though, if I kill like one thing, I'll probably level up like you three heard times. At the Sierra Madre Casino, we all have the legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone. This guy to sounds creepy. Here. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb going off. 
the grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Mm-hmm. It's letting go. Oh, man. I don't know what I got myself into here. I'm still confident, though. I'm still confident that we could do this at level two. Even though it's <laughs> recommended for 20 plus. All right. You'd think that they would at least downscale the enemies for you or something. You know, be nice about it. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen. What the? And follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Saul? <laughs> It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. Oh. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some to do. do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. That's There's no nice. escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna help you. When you came into the bunker, you saw a victim, their head blown off for disobedience. Oh, I did. I did see that. The city is filled with other stories. Many such stories. Is no your choice? Yes. I'm not helping you. Then you are of no use to me. Oh! <laughs> I just got owned. <laughs> he blew my head off. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, well, there's the first death. Are you kidding me? Come on now. All right, here we go. We're back again. <laughs> After I Great. tried to pull some my uh, reverse psychology like on, it didn't work. On your wrist. Do, there. All right. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Ah, uh, Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather the team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. The team! The A-team! Around the hill were three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the fountain. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. Oh, shit. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate. So Jesus, be... what is wrong with this guy? Ah. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> because in some respects, breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. Mm. The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their marks, graffiti on the walls, and victims they've killed. Some tried to help, left supplies and healing for others who came. Their reward, 
They were tracked down, killed by others with baser instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone following them. It killed some of them when they forgot where the traps were, or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. Oh no, he took my gear. The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino of this villa takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. The bunker. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless. And the Sierra Madre's security, in some respects, can help you if you are resourceful enough. Uh, uh, what are you talking about, buddy? This place is well preserved. Few who came here ever returned. All of the treasures of the old world lie scattered about. Virtually untouched. Search, hunt, craft what you can from what you find. The trash of the pre-war era can keep you alive. Food, knives, more. Use them. Even the villa's toxins and the residue it leaves behind can be shaped into tools and weapons. Gather it as well. Also, there is one more thing in your possession. A rifle, A rifle that will keep you alive. Ooh. As surely as the caller will. What is this rifle? It is a hollow rifle, the weapon I constructed when I arrived. I have since made superior models and modifications. For now, that too will have to do until you find other weapons. And I suggest you do. The hollow rifle's ammo is limited. Great. Still, it should serve well enough. I fashioned it from the holograms of the villa and used it against the villains. Living inhabitants. Oh my god, this guy talks a lot. But... Yes, inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. What? Whatever has created them bullets, explosions, energy it can make them inert for a time, then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Perhaps it's the clock. Perhaps something in their physiology. What the hell? What is the cloud? The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may smell it in the air. Copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. As for its origins, I'm not certain. Pre-war industrial pollutants. Something in the Sierra Madre structure. It is unique across the wasteland. And deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War. Hmm. Anywhere sheltered from the cloud. Inside buildings, tunnels. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms in the villa truly remain. Ghosts. They fill the villa. More in the casino. Much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote. They are of no consequences, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Mm -hmm. Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, oh my god, are you kidding me? Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Each has an emitter, destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to it. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. 
What the hell? Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators premature. <laughs> It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the call list to block. Oh, man. Yes, but not immediately. You'll hear a beep from your caller's detonator. When you do, step back, scan the area, and find the... There are damaged speakers and shielding ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. The damaged speakers are sparkling. Hard to miss. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting them will not destroy them. Holy shit. Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their... Shielded speakers can't be destroyed at all. You will need to avoid them or switch them off by a terminal. I'll... Holy shit. I am short on... Mm. What's inside? Me know. You got... Oh, you bum. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip Boy in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. Do this. Oh, man. Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He is docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from the trap. Fine. A long story. FEV of Iris is an even longer story. He gave birth to the docile one. Turned them into a super mutant. Oh. Your piece of Rocco trash will help you, I'm ah. sure. It can latch onto the signal and tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. It was part of their design to listen in. They can... One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no. Although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have... Oh my god. Good. If I'm gonna have to like convince them or something to come with me. Assistance. Ah. If you get lost, return here and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're... 